Alright, what I've got for you today is a cathode ray tube. And I want to show you the cathode ray tube up close. Now first, the cathode ray tube is essentially just a vacuum tube. So it's a glass tube that's got some electrodes on the sides and all of the air has been sucked out. And also inside you can see this fluorescent screen. Right now it looks like it's a white screen, but as soon as something energetic hits it, it's going to glow green. Okay? And so also you can see a slit there in the end. So right here, there is a metal plate and it's got a slit in it. If you can see, that's right about there. Okay. And that slit is going to allow some of the cathode rays to go through along where that slit is. So you're going to get only a beam, only a nice line of those cathode rays coming through. And then when they hit that white plate, you're going to see it glow green. And so you can get up close. This is the cathode end here, right? And you can see this is where the cathode ray particles are going to come out of. And the cathode ray particles are, of course, just electrons. And then on the other side, we've got the anode. All right, what I've got here is a Tesla coil. And the Tesla coil is a way for me to get a high voltage of electricity, but it's also low amperage, so it's pretty safe. And this high voltage of electricity is going to be able to light up my cathode ray tube. When I turn that on, it's going to be pretty loud, but let's go ahead and do it anyway. All right, there we go. Can you guys see it? We have a nice green beam right there in the middle of the cathode ray tube, right? And it's coming out nice and straight. And what I have here is a magnet. And we can see that the magnet is able to move that beam. Let me go ahead and take it right here by the cathode ray tube. You can see that I can move that beam all over the place. Look at this. I'm going to go up, down, and bend it as I wish, just with a magnet. So we can see that those cathode ray particles are highly susceptible to a magnetic field. This is actually a fairly weak magnet. 